Now, this is not the video that I thought I was going to make today, but I think it's long overdue. The topic that I'm going to be talking about today really hits close to home because I am actually kind of known around the community as like the item guy or the trading guy. I released a trading course for trading in Rocket League. I know a fair bit about items, but I've also been scammed on Rocket League a few times. Over the years, scams got more and more sophisticated, starting with very simple and seemingly dumb scam methods today to very sophisticated methods in terms of phishing links or middlemen or just deceptive actions, basically. I have a platform, I have a voice, and I want to talk about it. And I'm going to look into a particular situation that has come up recently concerning another content creator who I suppose is like a mutual connection of mine. And in case it wasn't obvious, I do just want to start this video by saying just because someone is a content creator or they have followers online, in the same way that having followers online doesn't make them a better person than you in any way, shape or form, it also doesn't guarantee that they're trustworthy or even I'd go as far as to say morally a good person. There's absolutely no guarantee. And if you went by the basis that even you were being really generous and said one in a hundred people were evil, that means there's thousands of content creators out there that could fall in that category. You see what I mean? Now, I would never scam someone because it's not in my nature, of course, but also it's very easy to hold me accountable. And that is one thing that a lot of other people can sort of avoid being affected by. Everyone knows my name. Everyone knows my face, my voice, my accounts, everything. I couldn't scam realistically even if I wanted to, not without facing negative repercussions. I could definitely scam one time because people trust me, but that would be it. And that's obviously not worth it for me. And as I said, it's not in my nature. Today, I'm going to be looking at a few TikToks that were brought to my attention by someone that I trade with. And it is seemingly exposing another content creator. And this is where that difference comes in when it comes to me and this other creator that is supposedly being exposed. Obviously, it's, it's innocent until proven guilty, and we may find that today, we might not. You know me, you know my face, you know my voice. There are content creators in Rocket League with hundreds of thousands of followers, and you couldn't pick them out of a crowd in the street. You don't know what they look like, you don't know their name, their age, anything about them, they could stay anonymous forever. And obviously, that is a massive advantage if someone wanted to choose to scam someone because you have the credibility of having followers. And these days, especially if you're a bit younger, if you're maybe a teenager or a kid or something like that, you look up to people with followers. You trust people with followers. And like I said, there's no guarantee that these content creators are good people. So it was these four videos here that sort of encouraged me to want to make this video, not necessarily specifically to expose the content creator in question. I think partly and in fact mostly to just get the message out there almost in a preventative measure. You know the old saying, prevention is better than cure. It's better if I can make this video and prevent anyone in the future that has watched this video from getting scammed in a certain way, as opposed to trying to console someone that has been scammed because maybe they could have done with seeing this video a bit earlier. So that's why we're making it today. I'm impartial, of course, and I'm all for hearing both sides of the arguments. Panthers, the uh, person in question, has weighed in, and this is someone that is very, very rich in Rocket League. They have more items than me. I actually did a video where they they lent me a bunch of alpha items and I used them. But obviously, if this is true and he's scamming people, for example, then it's no surprise that he's able to get his hands on very valuable items. And to be fair, when you think about it, if it was sort of earned in a legit way, it would either be a lot, a lot of trading. You don't understand how long it would take to go from nothing to an inventory like that. Or a lot of IRL money, like tens of thousands of pounds. And you'd have to ask yourself, where on earth would they get that money? Obviously, it's possible, but there are some red flags. So here it says, I thought I could trust Panthers as a middleman, quarter of a million followers, and scam people. He's no, no wonder he's rich. Now, obviously, if this is true and he's scamming people, it's not going to negatively affect Panthers really in any way. First of all, not all of his followers are even going to see this or even know about this. But second of all, he is completely anonymous. But there are arguments on his side as well that make sense too. And we're going to have a look at it. So here we go. This is just a trade. White Octane, White Fennec, Black Falochis, White Zombies, Beta Nugget, and a bunch of credits. Traded for a blueprint. So basically what a middleman would do, they would... Uh, take two parties that want to trade ideally the middleman would have no vested interest in either party let's say this person wanted to trade a hundred thousand or no a million credits worth of items because you can only do a hundred thousand in a trade and this person had you know that amount of items but it wouldn't fit in a trade window they would both give it to the middleman 
and then the middleman would give it the other way back so that each people so obviously the middleman needs to be trustworthy because they could take the items and run and that is theoretically what we have here so he's given the um the blueprint there and the items and he wants it back and i think if i've seen this situation correctly now you're not supposed to do cash trading but i think what's happened here is the guy that traded all this to the middleman was expecting payment from the other person and then once he got paid the middleman would give his items to the guy who paid him so that way the middleman technically has nothing to gain from it perhaps a plus rep and perhaps they might take a commission i believe this is the trade of the guy with these items trying to get it back the exact same trade as before on the basis that the person he wanted to trade with didn't pay him any money didn't give him anything for those items so essentially he didn't get anything for the items he traded so he wants them back and although it'd be annoying to have to restart the process and try and find someone to trade those items with at the very least he hasn't lost anything but as you can see the trade's not going through panther's there with the accept then i think they just wait here for a long long time nothing happens he accepts the trade panther sits there and doesn't trade's been cancelled panther's is gone this isn't to say that he's run for the hills and taken the items. This can happen if your game crashes or something like that. But it is a little bit suspicious in an item of a trade of this magnitude. This guy says, if you think I'm faking it, I have all the Discord DMs and have a lot of proof, which we can look at, look at that. And Panther says, tell the true story. I middlemaned my friend. That is a little bit of a red flag in a way. Ideally, a middleman is impartial. It would be like if there was a judge of a trial, very topical, and one of the sort of parties was a friend of the judge and the judge had to try and remain impartial it's going to be difficult for the judge to not side with the friend and it would be difficult in theory therefore for panthers not to potentially help out his friend in some way a middleman my friend paid you then he pulled back his money i didn't know i can't prevent that that's why he's blocked now and that's true if that's the case if this guy who was supposedly panther's friend who's now been blocked for example was supposed to pay the guy money for items and then didn't that's not panther's responsibility he is merely the coordinator but he should then just give the item straight back to b43 this is a point here that makes a lot of sense but it is also an easy way out because if he were to scam you could easily say this and that would essentially almost make it like it would be so illogical for him to scam that it's not even a possibility when it still could be why would i do legit trades and scam when i could just scam it's no point it's a time waste if i did both i don't need to scam when i'm rich see that's a good point but that could also be a very easy cover to continue scamming if you were that way inclined so let's take a look at the dms here this is just the conversation of them agreeing the trade you could pause and look through if you want panthers is just there sort of adjudicating over this trade they agree what's going to be traded and how much and all that stuff and then it's panthers job to make sure it goes smoothly for both parties this is all a bit sus to be honest panthers is it's really not looking good but the main one is the conversation here and it's this first slide right here this is a conversation i believe with the other guy I feel bad and I feel bad for the dude. I'm probs going to return his items. Like I said, I hate the feeling of scamming. What the hell? What? I mean, so now you have a conscience, right? And I'm not trying to start beef. I've been pretty much impartial up into this point. But that does not look good. And Panthers was more than happy to say his piece on the original video and say, look, I was just a middleman. It didn't work, blah, blah, blah. But this one here, there's no explanation. Partly because it's hard to argue with that. I don't know if Panthers sent this to this guy to show that he felt bad. This guy is clearly talking about trying to get an income and i guess maybe scamming is an easy way to do that and he was not liking the idea of him returning the items where they rightfully belong because if that was the case then the scam wouldn't have worked and they wouldn't have benefited in any way i can't really imagine how i'm gonna make money but to be fair hopefully will help me to scam he doesn't really the english isn't great then panther says scam on your own i guess gonna have to do it without me i guess like it's just a weird one and i'm not saying people that make mistakes can't change we had a similar situation about five years ago with noah's noah it was sort of you know he was sort of getting at some shady business and we kind of brought attention to it on this channel i privated the videos now because 
I mean, my idea was never to start beef. Um, it was just to get the word out there. But it doesn't surprise me that this is happening. And it goes back to the point I made earlier. The screenshots are not conclusive. I think you could definitely provide more context. But if they're screenshots between two people that are scamming together, it's going to be limited as to what information you can actually get. However, I haven't looked into this. But to my knowledge, no one knows who Panthers is. We don't know their name their age, where they live, anything about them at all. And there's nothing to stop them, for example, going on an alt account, creating a new account. That is the claim from B43 that he has many accounts and he'll keep scamming, for example. But there's no way to hold Panthers accountable at all. And that's also why I'm more inclined to make this video to get the message out there because the effect on Panthers won't be too bad, certainly not in his personal life because no one knows who he is. Like I said, you wouldn't be able to pick him out from a crowd. Whereas if in theory, I did something so bad and I took someone's inventory that they spent years building, like if someone saw me in the street, they would recognize me. And if they were that way inclined, could then like beat me up, for example. But Panthers wouldn't be affected in any way in his personal life if he was scamming online. And it's also very easy for him to say, why would I scam when I can just do legit trades? I've got all these items. I've got all these followers. There's no need for me to scam. It's very easy to say that and deflect this situation where he hasn't said anything. It's all very fresh, but I wanted to make this video to spread the word. Don't trust people. That's my number one, to be honest. Like I would say you, you can trust me, but I'm not going to go around middlemanning for people. I've got better things to do. But if you can't hold them accountable, don't trust them. That's the way I would see it. If they're an anonymous source, don't trust them. Because there's ways in Rocket League. Rocket League trading is built in such a way that you don't need to trust people. Rocket League handles that with the review trade section. It gives you a chance to do your own due diligence and make sure you get the trade you want. Don't take someone's word for it because... It could easily go wrong and there's no one to be held accountable and you've lost. Like everyone that's ever scammed me, I think I've been scammed a few times. I don't know who they are. I can't hold them accountable because there's nothing I can do. Perhaps Panthers will comment on this video. Perhaps Panthers will contact me. I did try and invite Panthers into my Rocket League game to ask him before I recorded this if there was any clarity he could give me, but he didn't join me. Uh, so I'm just presenting the information we currently have. There might be an update on this video. So this was like... Partially to follow the Panthers drama because obviously whilst it's gained a little bit of traction on TikTok It's nothing perhaps to how far this video could reach but Also to get the message out there before as a preventative measure To not trust someone that you can't held accountable at the very least Even if you believe them to be your friend if someone befriend they could play the long game befriend you for months and months They could do a trade. They could just run away. There's no obligation for anyone to be a good human being I think that that lesson could do well for you in life. There's no obligation for anyone to be a morally good human being. So err on the side of caution and stay safe. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope I've brought some sort of awareness to the topic. Maybe, like I said, we'll come back and discuss this again. But drop a like. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. My goal for this video is not to start beef. It's to look at what we've got. And perhaps we can be presented with other facts in the future but we'll see how it goes just stay stay safe out there i'll see you in the next video very soon